and it's on the mulching feature. How it did mulch it up right there. There's the mulched up grass. In this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the Power Smart 144cc 21 inch push mower. This is a three in one push mower. That means it has the mulching, it has the side discharge and the bagging. A six position in height, so the adjustable height. And you know what, looking over the top, it looks like these guys from Power, Power Smart make several items here. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm just gonna take it out of the box, do a quick assembly of it, show you how easy it is to assemble or how difficult it is to assemble. Then I'll put this thing to the test. So let's go ahead, let's get this thing out of the box and let's see what we get with it. Okay, let's go ahead and open it up. It looks like it's almost completely assembled. The bagging. Looks like it has a few little of these zip ties. That one's already been cut. Inside the bag, you get a discharge. It looks like you get a Power Smart motor oil. Do not forget to put the motor oil in. A little set of tools funnel for putting the oil in and a guide. Let me read over this guide and let's see what all we need to do to this thing and then we'll um, we'll put it together and, and then get it running. Okay, it looks like all you gotta do is tighten up these and these are all hand tightened. I put this little cable holder on there and these are right here. Look like they just lock into place like that. Very convenient on that. This thing looks like it goes up here like this. Now you see right here, this is gonna be where the oil is. Just like an oil dipstick on a car. SAE 10W30. It looks like you put this whole thing, which is 13 ounces. You're gonna drop all of that in there. Now let's check it. Yeah, it's right on full. Put some gasoline in here. This is, a, I like this jug because it's not like a fast fill up. It has this little safety mechanism on it right there. I'm not gonna put the side discharge on, but if you want to, it just locks in. It looks like it just locks in like that. That's how the side discharge goes on there. It adjusts both at the same time. I like that. When you adjust the wheels, it does both wheels at the same time. You don't have to do each individual wheel. Looking at the underneath, a good solid lawnmower blade. You can see the bagging feature right there. It looks to be sharp on that side. It's sharp on one side only. This is a mulching kind of all around top blade. Has a little flap right there. Keeps it from coming back on you. Let's go ahead and put the bagger on there. All you gotta do is lift that up and it looks like it locks down in here. And that's it, the bag is on there. So now I hit the primer button just a little bit. Let's go ahead and see if this thing starts up. Come on, oh yeah, look at that. First time. Now I did have it up on its side. This is the first time it's ever been started, so it's kind of like. Wow, that worked great. First pull on it. It looks like it fired up nicely. That has a very nice sound to it. The motor sounds powerful. It has an anti-vibration on the lid. Look at that. That lid won't come off. Let's go do some mowing with it. Okay, I'm out here by the, my front little front yard area. Now this isn't a big yard area, but you can see how high the grass has gotten out here. Here's my hand. That's probably a good solid four to five inches high. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mow this little area here, and this is gonna be the first test on it. And I'm gonna have the bagger on this one, and we'll see how much of this grass it actually bags up. And we'll do a comparison between the left and right and see exactly what the left looks like as far as the right when I'm done cutting. So let's go ahead and do that now. I like the fact I'm getting no grass clippings at all. I can already tell you that. The handle's very comfortable. I'm noticing that right away. Pretty easy to just push it. There's no rolling resistance. I don't know 
know if you can see how well you can see it in the camera, but right here is the cut line. Look how nice all of that looks in the transition between the right and left. Look at those lines it put on there too. Let's go ahead and finish this out and let's see how it comes out because I'm really curious how well this thing's gonna cut this yard. Now what I'm gonna do is take this bag off, lift this up, the bag just lifts off like that. Let's use the side discharge and let's see how that side discharge does. I see no no issues at all with that side discharge and it was very easy to install it now i'm going to do it as a mulching mower Start. Wow. that's impressive This, this engine ain't even bogging down a little bit, and it's on the mulching feature. You see that? That's probably not been cut in about a week and a half, and this has just now been cut, and look how good it cut that. I am very impressed with this mower. Very nice, clean cut. And this is on the mulching feature, and you can kind of see how it did mulch it up right there. There's the mulched up grass. And I'm gonna put the bagging back on and then finish out this whole area and let's see how it looks. Okay, there it is everybody. So let me give you my final thoughts after doing several cuts. So I went through two bags of this thing and let me tell you what I liked about this thing and what I didn't like because there's not much actually dislikes on this because I gotta think of the affordability of this thing and how much it costs. So you get kind of what you pay for with something like this. But one thing that it really did extremely well was the engine. The 144cc engine has a lot of power the one hand adjustment, being able to adjust both wheels at the same time, front and back, was extremely nice. I used every feature. I went from bagging to mulching to side discharge. Definitely the best is the bagging and mulching. I'm not a big fan of that side discharge. Just never been that big of a fan of a, the side discharge. If there was one, one critique I had of this thing, it's the size of that hole right there. So your discharge hole fills up a lot faster than it should. If it was me, I would have went probably about an inch wider with that discharge hole just to get more into the bag the bag was easy to adjust you know when it's full because you see like some you see dust blowing out of it it won't blow out of it till it starts getting full the padded handle was very nice i liked how the padded handle felt felt really good on that the lever right there i love the quick adjustment for taking it up and down i hate those thumb screws to doing like that that's an innovative feature right there see that everybody that way you tuck it away and it holds nicely and then to put it back look how i can do that one-handed very nice super easy to start it was one pull start a primer button right here so you will have to prime it if you've not started it in a while but it has an automatic choke so it does take over and start on its own very impressed with this power smart i didn't think it would roll as well as it does on these small back wheels the back wheels are slightly larger in the front but you know what they work just fine and i've been very impressed so yeah i highly recommend this mower for anyone that just needs a kind of a affordable do-all type mower so yeah you're not going to be doing any commercial kind of like entire units but i think for just a good household mower for doing like what i did maybe a little bit under a half acre i highly recommend this mower so yeah there it is everybody that's all i got on the power smart 21 inch three-in-one mower 144 cc see you on the next video